Oh, hi guys. Um, well, welcome back to another episode. Um, today is actually a pretty good day because, um, today... Oh my god. I left my record player on. Damn it. Well, it's not playing on, but it's open. That was silly. Um, today we are actually in... What's this video about again? As so I've kind of remembered what. Do you hear that? I'm gonna. I swear I heard something like no joke. I literally heard something. Yeah, must have been one of my brothers just trying to. So before we get on to the actual video, first of all, one, do you like my hair? I didn't mention it at the beginning because I thought you, I want you to notice. I want you to notice. Do you like it? In saying that. Um, my new nickname is, um, Spinach. So, in the comments, you can call me Spinach. Or by my very, very, very long name, the Australian Blue Flame Flower. So, hold on one second, I'm going to darken down behind me. Can you see me? Wait. Hold on. Oh, there we go. But behind me is still long. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Um, sorry, I just darkened down the light so then you could see me instead of having a blaring light at the back behind me. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh. Um, the reason why I have green hair is because I actually tried dyeing it blue, but the, to, for kind of my channel, because Australian blue flame flower, blue, um, I tried making it blue, but it, some reason the blue dye turns green, so I don't actually know why that happened, but anyway, at least I got... So, today's sponsor is actually, well, not really a sponsor, they didn't go like, can you sponsor this in your next video? I'm just saying to use this app, so you have an app to use for this. So, for those who actually want to learn languages in a very simple way, I bet you this would be the right app for you, so you don't want Hold on one second. I'm doing right on this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, so it's this set. It's called Duolingo. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so. Oh my gosh. Hold on one sec. I just gotta do this. Do, 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 do. Manage current courses, get rid of flat I don't want to learn that. No offense. Alright, that's going out. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I need to redo it. And I'm, I'll cut that out. So, do I, I. Please help me if I'm saying this wrong. I don't really know if I'm saying it right or not. Oh my god. So, with Duolingo, that's what I'm calling it. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but yeah. So, with this app, I'm just calling it this app, um, it looks like this. So, 
if you already know it, that is fantastic. I recommend you use it every day, which I do. I do. I use it every day. So most days I use Japanese. Then some days I tend to use, I tend to go in between from Italian to French. So with this app, yeah, I'm bringing it close so that you can see it. You got multiple languages. You can't. You can learn more than four. You can learn more than three. I think you can even learn five. I tried doing that once, but then it got too hard. So, if you want to learn a language, all you have to do is press. Sorry, I'm being so slow. You press that, app, and then you got a bunch of languages you can go from, and that's it. So you can go Scottish. So I'm just doing this for example. So if I went to learn Scottish Gaelic, I would press on that language. Then I'd come up with this. It would say, "Have you learned it before, or is this like the first time?" Since it's my first time, I'd press that. And the blah 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 blah. You get, you kind of get used to it. So it's an app that comes up with these things. So it would have question, easy questions for you, and then easy answers. So which one is the big? Yeah. So then you press on the answer, you press check. I got it correct. Continue. So you keep on doing that and doing that and doing that. And sorry, you got a sniff the nose. Um, then you keep on doing that. And the more you do that, oh, I'm sorry, but I don't want to end it. Oh my god. Sorry, I got a bunch of ads. So, here, I'll show you all my Japanese, because that's the first. So, you keep on going, and more stages will be unlocked, and, yeah. I don't think there's an end to this. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, that's the end of mine. So, yeah, make sure to go check that out. It's available on iPad, iPhone. It's available on... Um, Google the internet, like, burning stuff. I meant, um, uh, ah, that's what I was trying to say. Like, on Google, Safari, Internet Explorer, all those, all those. So, back to the actual video. <laughs> Oh, hello again. Um, I have actually kind of, I think, remembered what I was doing in this video. So this may not be what I remember. I think the video was, but I'm just gonna jump into something I wanted to make a original video about. But here we are doing it instead of when I wanted. It. God, why is it so dark? I'm bright. Alright, so I'm going to click my fingers and the typewriter is going to appear here, a working royal typewriter. Well, I think that's the company that made it. It's a royal typewriter. Like the company royal typewriter. But anyway, I'm going to click my fingers and it's going to appear. So, whoa! Oh my god! So, here you have it, my typewriter. So, it's way more closer than you think it is. So, let's open it up. So, I actually lied. It's a Linton Royal typewriter. So, as you can see, I've already been writing something. So, just one sec. I'll lift you guys up. There we go. So, this is a Linton Royal 203 typewriter. So, as you can see, I've already been writing something. Oh, God, I've got no room. Speak of stuff that you zinc. I also got this. So, I get to that other one in another episode, but that wasn't a typewriter. That was actually a calculator. So... Alright, so 
This is a Linton Royal 203 typewriter. So it has all the keys, as you can see. Oh, whoopsie. So we have to push it through there. So oh, I'm actually writing a story at the moment. Sorry if you can't hear me. So this is actually a working typewriter. So I've actually written. Oh my god. Oh wait, that says. And in mind we can magic it up. Back to the clicking again. Ready? I'm um, just one sec. Whoa! That was crazy. Oh my lord. Okay. So we got all the stuff here. So I'm gonna put that in there. So, oh, I need this now. Anyway, whoopsie. So, this is my story file. So, we don't really have much in here, but here's my story so far. So, as you can see, that is actually the typewriter. So, my story is the Kosciuszko Juveniles. And, yeah. So, I am going to show you how it's done. Then, for most of this video, I'm going to be uh, time-lapsing me writing this page. So, yeah. So, let's get into this thing. Oh, there's a thing there. So, space, keys... Numbers and letters. This button here, it's mainly for my cave because that is the one that gets stuck the most. Oh, maybe I'll wait today. Um, backspace. Uh, yep. So every time you press a letter, it will space forward a bit. So kind of like your normal keyboard. Um. Under here, oh, no, nothing happened. So, under here is all your keys, well, all the thread things. So, those. Um, then you got your ink. So, you could just only because I'm running out of it. Oh, no, one sec. There we go. Sorry, if you have no idea what I'm doing, I am just um, getting all the ink uh, prepared, so... This is a ink shield thingy, my bobby. Right, there we go. So I think this is the amount of ink you want. I keep it there. Um, this is if you want white ink, red ink, I black ink, red ink. I think due to what my grandma explained to me, hi, Nana. Um, back in the day, they used to have on the string they had. At the bottom, red ink, and at the top, black ink. I don't know if this is right. Uh, if it's wrong, comment down below what actually was. I'm sorry, Nana, if I'm making you feel like that you don't know. But um, this was my pop's typewriter. He's still alive. He's a very good man. Um, so... You would have this leather thing here, and when you went red ink, it would take this down to the bottom where all the red ink was, 
And then if you want black ink, you put it the black ink, and then take it to the black ink. And then if you want a white ink, you raise it so then the stamp things can't get the string. So it's just like high. So you can only see like it slightly because I've already had ink on it. So I always keep it on black ink because I don't have any other ink. Also, white ink is not really an ink, but you know. Um, so, yeah. If you wanted to, like, um, because as you can see, there's, like, um, above the numbers, there's, like, apostrophe, hashtag, dollar sign, percentage, underscore, brackets. The cap button is actually basically just with like a shift button it's like shift at down shift a quarter down shift capital k down you got your tab still and yeah it's basically my typewriter um good scroller your returner and yeah so now i'm gonna just do the look so I'm gonna just one sec. If you don't know what this is, it's just a thing. It's nothing. Alright, so let's get in the book. Breakfast which has been sitting in a wood burning pizza oven. Not again, not this. So sometimes it kind of stops, and then as you're typing, instead of like moving to the right slightly, it just stays still. Or sometimes it would double space, so then you get like a gap in a word. So sometimes it's a bit annoying, but I just line it. So. Okay. When that bell goes off, it tells you that you have no one. So it tells you you have one, two, five, six, six, no, five. Spaces left before the bit you've set for how wide you want the text or the paragraph to be, um, like, stops you from typing anything. So, I can't type anything. I can't space because it's been, after the five, there's, like, one more, but that one more is when it's, like, you can't space, you can't type. So yeah. So then that means you gotta so also here you got um like a certain amount of space between them. So you could go like two returns, three returns, four returns, one return, um a thing where you just like it's not even a return, it's just like scrolling kind of. So I've said to uh, Two. and then what I do is just do that if I'm doing it wrong and that's a threat to breaking my typewriter make sure you type down I'm open ears for things about uh, Linton Royal 203 typewriter so yeah I only got this like last year I think 
Okay. All right. Let me see. So, just one sec. Activate that time lapse. Let's go do it. So that's done now. Chapter thirteen, actually. So I went out there. So I'm just gonna quickly type this in. Chapter four. Oh, whoopsie. Fourteen. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I know most of it was just watching me time lapsed on a uh, typewriter, but I'm sorry, I really couldn't think of anything to do unless if I showed you my record player again. But that's in a future episode. But yeah, let's retry that. Sorry. Um, before my iPad fell and. We literally slammed the screen onto my desk. So let's start that again. Make sure you go check out the app. Thank you for watching. Um, and I will see you guys next time. So, well, actually, not yet. Goodbye. But something in my foot. Oh, stop. Um, make sure you go check out that. Oh, gosh. That app. There will be now, most of my videos now that I will upload, there will be a new sponsor every single video. So, yeah. Make sure you go check out that. Oh, sorry. Oh, ah. Make sure you go check out that app, and I will see you guys next time.